So guys, uh, I'll start sharing my screen. So how do you write a blog post in few minutes? I'm going to teach you how to write a blog post. So let's say um, you are a client who wants you to write a blog post or for him or her. So let's say you're going to be writing on um, how to become a better housewife. How to become a better housewife. So this is the topic our clients gave us to write a blog post on, so they can post on their blogs. So what you do, we just copy this topic and come straight to Google. Come straight to Google, we type it out of Google and we give it a search. The only important step in writing a better blog post is you getting a better blog post that someone has written on before. Get two, three or four blog posts and combine them together to make one so you can get started with it it's very easy all you have to do is get two or three blog posts meld them together and rewrite them so they are unique and deliver to your clients it's just three basic easy steps now i'm going to do it in like five minutes for you to do so one we got this first one i'm going to open them it's a new tab that's one then Note guys, don't copy any uh, article that has to do with from wiki, this, wiki, that, wiki, anything that has to do with wiki. Mostly don't copy them. They're always been working by Google, so it's going to be hard to rewrite them and make them unique. So you can copy from any other website. Five stars will become a different elsewhere. Then I open this also in new tab. Then another one has to be perfect elsewhere. Okay. Open this. Let me just open this one to make for how to be a good elsewhere. So, so we have this four now. Then we have our Microsoft Word open down here. So I'm just gonna you know, open them to see what's there. Okay. 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 Good. So first, I would like to have two things in mind when writing any anything that has to do with writing. Whenever you're writing, there's always three basic steps to it. One, introduction. And two, you have the body, the body content, and three, you have the conclusion. When it comes to writing, these two things are fucking very important. You're not going to state them that this is an introduction or this is the body content, this is the conclusion, but you have to write them in this order. So even if you open a website and the person doesn't have an introduction, the person doesn't jump into the body content, that doesn't mean you should just copy that content and feel you are okay with it. No, these are one of the things, the criteria that makes you a professional writer, that makes you the best in whatever you're doing. These are one of the criteria, guys. These are the things that I do that make me professional in writing today, that makes me someone that many people have been sought out after to get things done for them, guys. So don't forget, these three things is very important. You could jot it down somewhere so you don't forget. Every content, every writing things you want to do, apart from blog writing, we're going to need this to whenever we're writing other stuff. But any writing jobs you want to do needs an introduction first, then you have the body content, then you have the conclusion. So there should be a part introducing the topic. You don't just go to how to become a better outside, then you don't just start and by start listening the steps to become a better outside. No, you need a short introduction. To becoming a better housewife then you list the body content which is the main um post which is how to be a better steps to becoming a better housewife then you conclude it with some short conclusion that's how everything needs to be written now let's get back so the time housewife has come to a negative influence like this is the good this is a sort of introduction we're looking for guys you can see you can see this short introduction before the person go into the uh, uh, steps of uh, writing as you can see but guys since you know what you want to write we already know that we need an introduction first all you have to do is copy this introduction part copy and come to our no paste it here so mind you guys don't forget most of our clients always have expectations. They might ask you to write a 500 word uh, blog content on 
people might say 1,000 words, some people might say 2,000 words. So depending on the uh, criteria of your clients, that's how huge this uh, content is going to be. But the minimum you get to write is 300 to 500 words. So I just base on 500 words. So if you're going to write uh, a huge uh, blog post, maybe like 2,000, 3,000, all you just have to do is to make sure you copy uh, introduction from different contents, like from different websites. Like, for example, copy the introduction here. Now, then we check this. If this also has an introduction, you can see this another website. Okay, good. Many more perfect words, blah, blah, blah. This is also an introduction. So if, I, if we're talking about writing um, an, a blog post that has a wide range of content, like we're talking about writing like 2,000 or 3,000 words, I'm not going to just copy one. I'm just going to come here and copy this also, like this. This is an introduction part two. I'm going to add it to this introduction part. Just to make uh, the work content, we have 227 here before, so now it's 314 words. You can see it's 314 words. Then I can see, come here and see this one also as an introduction. Yeah, this one also as an introduction. You can see, I can also copy this too. I can also copy this too and add to it. So I make it huge, I make this almost 400 words before going to the next level. Uh, we're going to the next thing to write. Why? So that I can have huge words because the person, uh, my client needs like 2,000, 3,000 words. So if I just copy from one website and the other, I might just end up writing 500 words and the client needs over 1,000 words or 2,000 or 3,000. So guys, that's the first thing you need to know. You need to take, you need to consider the word count your customer needs before moving forward. So this is our introduction part then. The next is the body content of the book. So the body content has to be like the steps you need to become a better housewife. So now let's check the steps to become a better housewife. How to be a better housewife. So that's the step. So in these steps, how to be a better housewife, I'm going to be copying it. We, we are going to need to be writing this, but this is the main step. Before we write we need to copy it first. So this is the body content. So these are the steps to be a better housewife. You don't copy your pictures with it, but the housewife contains not pictures as you need it, guys. As much as needed, as much as possible. You can see we have over 700 words there already. So I'm just going to stop here. Okay, let me just stop here. So these are the steps to be. I'm not going to go down. I'm just stop here and there. So I'm stop here. So after that, we need a conclusion. It's a blessing to stay home. We need a conclusion. This doesn't have a conclusion, so let's check this. If this has a conclusion. Aha, this is the conclusion, the takeaway. Times have changed and blah, 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 blah. So this is the conclusion. So I'm just going to copy this. Sorry, I'm having some network issues. So this is conclusion. So this is my conclusion. You can see I'm deleting the conclusion part. You don't have to write there that's a conclusion. But you can also write it, but most times you, you can just write summary. Summary. Instead of saying conclusion, you can just say summary. That's the last one. So we already have it in three parts. So the next thing now, we already have the blog post. What we have to do now is to make the blog post unique so it doesn't show that we copy it. Now, the last step here is to rewrite this. And trust me, the writing process is very, very simple. You can see I already have 2,500 words here. So even if your clients want 10,000, 5,000, you will always get to be able to write it. All you just have to do is to follow my steps simple as ABC. So, so all you're left to do now is to rewrite it so it's can be unique and that's very easy. Just have to take it one paragraph at a time. The time as well has come to have a negative condition the first trend first trend to it. The origin of as well GT is actually a byproduct of the industrial revolution when people move out for organ society into a modern city. It's very it's very easy. Just have to change them one side the other. Like now 
this is the time as well as come to have a negative information in first sense. We just have to change it like, like um, use of the word as, uh, as well. Let's say the use of the word as well. Why? Been labeled, labeled, so negative little mark in the first century. You can see I'm changing the old narratives. We're still going to have the same meaning, but I'm having a different type of word already. So the origin of our duty is actually a byproduct of industrial revolution. And just say, our swap duties, our swap duties originate, originate as a byproduct. As you can see, you can see I'm changing it as a byproduct of industrial revolution. Industrial revolution. You can see the old, the old thing is the same meaning but different type of word. The time also have come back with negative connotation in the 21st century. These are the words as well that have been labeled with a negative mark in the 21st century. As well, it is the that the byproduct of industrial revolution. The origin of as well, it is actually a byproduct of industrial revolution. You can see the same meaning but different words. So, by the time you submit this for your customer, it's going to be 100% unique. You're not going to have any issue that you copied it from anywhere. So that's what you just have to do with all this. Then what you are doing, you save and send to your customer. Simple as A, B, C. And there is also a more faster way, but I don't really advise people to go this faster way if you're not patient enough. Because once you go this way, you need to sit down and proofread what you write very well. The faster way is you taking uh, another step using tools to rewrite tools like uh, qlboot.com but I always use them for very very long contents okay this is it so you just copy your contents and you paste here then it rewrites it for you immediately instead of you writing one side the other but when you use this kind of tools after writing everything you have to sit down and proofread it one side or the like read it and fix any uh, words that are not okay there because this is a tool of course it's not a human being so it definitely will make mistakes don't just rewrite it and just leave it away let's try the tools for you guys to see let's copy this and there we are then let's paste the time as well has come to have a negative blah 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 so let's paraphrase and see what it can give us you can see in the 21st century, the time as well that acquired a pejorative connection. You can see how it changed it. The analysis of our duties may be traced back to industrial revolution. You can see it's very good, but most times it does make mistakes. So you just have to copy this and come back here. And you delete this and you paste this. Then you have your, your written words. But when you are done with this, you have to proofread like check one type the other to make sure the words are correct and everything are okay. Then you save and submit your your customer you can see it's easy as a b c that's just how to, you need to do to write a blog post and you're good to go you can you can write this blog post as huge as hundred dollar per five hundred words and as small as twenty dollar per five hundred five hundred words guys this is the video you need to get started right away so guys watch out for the next video i'm going to be dropping next video on how, how to write the website content it's more like how to write a blog post but just a little bit of twist so that's what what happens next guys watch out